So we're coming to the end of our uh, tour here today. Much appreciated for your time. I um, see a lot of different things going on here at the farm. Can you um, highlight some of the rituals, if you will, the springtime rituals? So early spring rituals, which I enjoy the ritual part, but <laughs> the, the, the is getting the fields prepped. So we already went over the cover crop. That's definitely a nice beginning of the prep. But then as the prep proceeds, like we're standing in front of all of our row crops, this is, happens to be the pepper field. So we're putting in the rows, putting in tea tape, irrigation. So then also on top of that, all the stakes that will hold the uh, shade cloth so the peppers don't burn. So that's just one field. And then there'll be other fields like the tomato field that are already have row crops of rows made with the irrigation. So it's all set, ready to go for our little baby plants to come out and get planted. So with all these things said and all the prep from irrigation to shade cloth to stakes to uh, trellising, all that stuff starts in the first two months prior to spring. Wow, so you're, you're getting off of this here in what, late December, January? <laughs> late December, January, we need to start only because of California and the nice little climate change that we're kind of enduring. The more we get ahead of certain things, the easier it is going to be for us for spring and then eventually summer where we're all going to change us. So is there a handoff between one season and the next where you're doing prep work at the tail end of the cloud season to prep for the next spring time coming up? Uh, I don't necessarily think the, the ultimate goal were, will be, I believe, to answer your question, at least for us, would be where winter ends and spring begins that each go hand in hand and help each other. Okay. So if we can accomplish that goal, I think the more efficient the farm will become and the happier the plants will become if we can accomplish what you just said. Gotcha. Where one hand reaches the next hand, and the next hand reaches the next hand. So therefore, not only are we taking care of the soil, but we're prepping the soil, and then we're prepping again for the initial plant to go in the ground with the healthiest soil possible. What a tremendous effort. So yeah, I think eventually <laughs> that would be the ultimate goal. So, and the faster that we can get ahead of it, but speed and farming don't necessarily go together. So there's right. always, you know, time for the plant to you know, take care of itself, regenerate the soil, take care of the plants, take care of the seedlings. So all those things going hand in hand is, and then dealing with mother nature on top of it. Right, so right. each year brings different problems and different solutions will arise and different issues will arise as well. But especially with climate. Right, 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 right. So, but, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ethan.